نحن الآن داخل الحي الجنوبي الآن في هذه المنطقة من هذه الناحية الحي الغربي من هذه الناحية الحي الغربي ما زالت كذلك هناك اشتباكات كما نتابع وعملية الانتشار التي يقوم بها الجيش السوري في هذه المنطقة After the army managed to take full control of the southern quarter of the city its units advanced towards the city's central area What is clear from the wreckage left behind is the intensity of the battles in this area the main street of the city, called Holmes, Baalbek Street, was combed quickly after the snipers deliberately cut it off. This is the Al Ahli Hospital, which was under the control of the armed forces. كما نتابع الآن نحن في قلب مدينة القصير هذه المستشفى القصير الأهلي هذه المنطقة معروفة كانت تتحصن فيها المجموعات المسلحة وقد حولوا هذا المشفى إلى مشفى ميداني وكما نتابع الآن هذه المنطقة وهذا الطريق الذي يعتبر الطريق الرئيس في هذه المنطقة وهو طريق حمص بعلبك The aim was to surround the armed groups and cut off all supply routes inside and outside the city. This is what the Syrian army managed to achieve through controlling Al Hamidiya village. Bombs planted by the armed groups in this tunnel are good examples of trenches erected by them in these quarters. The military uniforms suggest the presence of Al Nusra Front and the sectarian books are from Qatar. The Syrian army announces that the first phase of the operation is successfully coming to an end according to plan. Now the armed groups are surrounded in a narrow triangle from the northern side, where Al Hamidiya village is located, close to Al Daba Air Base, in which the Syrian army units are present. The Syrian army briskly launched the second phase of attacks. The target this time is to recapture the towns of Arjun and Niprak in Al Qasair's rural areas. The liberation of Al Dabab Air Base, which was considered the armed group's backyard in Al Qasair, was a real surprise for everybody. In this operation, the Syrian army surrounded the armed groups in the northern part of the city before it could manage to reach the strategic air base while its other units took over the nearby Al Hamidiya village. The commander of the operation employed a new strategy of tense firing in order to distract the armed groups after he deluded them that the major battle is concentrated in the northern quarter of Al Qusayr city. He concentrated his unit's fire towards the northern part of the city which pushed the armed groups to retreat to the western part of the city, which was experiencing fierce close-range fighting. As a result, the armed groups focused their efforts on the western part of the city, which allowed the army to advance through the northern road directly towards the strategic Al Daba Air Base. Al Daba Air Base is considered the most strategic location in Homs province. Due to its proximity to Al Qusayr city and its central position among Al Hamidiya, Arjun, Al Thaba, Al Masudiya, and eastern Al Buayda towns. When the army took control of Al Daba Air Base, the armed groups lost their only lifeline. Battles were still raging fiercely and the armed groups were shocked by the developments on the ground. Finally, the armed groups retreated to Al Thaba village in the western rural area of Al Qusayr, leaving behind their dead and injured companions. The Syrian army resumed its military operation from the southern quarter. The goal was to take control of the western and southwestern quarters in order to reach the center of Al Ghusayr and create a new confrontation line with the armed groups at the heart of the northern quarter of the city as a prelude operation to combing the northern quarter.
the Syrian army advanced to the western and southwestern quarters, which resulted in fierce fighting with al-Nusra Front fighters. The army finally reached the center of al Qusair city and took control of the municipality building. By now, most parts of the city were at the hands of the Syrian army. The determination and the progress on the ground created an aperture for the soldiers to enter and dominate the center of al Qusair city. al Qusair was the strategic bastion for al Nusra front fighters and the front line in defending the northern quarter. With their defeat, the armed group's morale started to decline sharply and they became more hysterical while a total collapse could be seen among them after the arrival of the Syrian army to areas which exposed their weakness and vulnerability. In the evening, the military command decided it was the right time to storm the northern quarter of the city. At nightfall, the Syrian army entered the northern quarter from three different directions from the east, west, and north. By dawn, heavy fire forced the al Nusra fighters to flee towards al Faba, which allowed the Syrian units to enter the northern quarter and begin the combing operation. When the dust settled in al Ghusayr city, the extent of the destruction caused by the armed groups became visible. Even the sacredness of this historic church did not spare it from the armed group's destruction and looting. This يعني الكنيسة هذه هذه المنطقة حيث كان قامت المجموعات المسلحة بطرد الأهالي الذين كانوا يعيشون في هذه الأحياء. The armed group's trenches and facilities indicate the nature of the support they have been receiving. This is the field hospital in Al Qusayr city. It has surgery rooms, modern appliances, and a huge quantity of medicine. Contrary to the armed group's allegations of shortages in medicines and medical instruments. هذا المستشفى الميداني الذي كانت تستخدمه المجموعات المسلحة هنا لمعالجة الجرحى أثار الدماء ما زالت موجودة البذات العسكرية ما زالت موجودة هنا كانت تجرى العديد من العمليات لمعالجة المجموعات المسلحة وبالتحديد الذين سقطوا خلال المعركة الأخيرة قبل أن تتم عملية تنظيف. While the Syrian army was chasing the remaining members of the defeated armed groups out of the city, some residents began to return to their homes. There was a feeling of triumph over the victory achieved by the Syrian army and a resolve among the citizens to reconstruct their city. The Syrian army continued towards Al Masudiya village and later Al Salhia village which were liberated without any resistance from the armed groups who had fled to eastern al Buwaida, leaving behind all their weapons and ammunition. Here, the Syrian army confiscated arms and various vehicles equipped with heavy machine guns and missile launchers in addition to large quantities of ammunition and mortar shells. In a swift maneuver by competent army units, eastern al Buwaida was surrounded. The Syrian army entered the town to comb the area and discovered that the armed groups had deliberately planted bombs inside houses prior to fleeing. Field hospitals can be seen everywhere, and as usual, tunnels are the armed group's favorite method of trench. One of the tunnels was dug underneath the field hospital, consisting two rooms used as shelters in order to avoid the army's strikes. Other tunnels were used as arms depots. Now al Qusayr city and its rural areas are under total Syrian army control.
Due to the strategic location of Al Ghosair, situated between the North Lebanese towns of Ersal and Hormel, and the Homs Damascus motorway to the Syrian coastline, the armed groups had put their military weight in this area and recruited fighters from Chechnya, Afghanistan, and Arab and other foreign countries. And this particular factor became their fatal mistake. The recent victory in Al Qusayr and the surprises the army had for the armed groups are certainly not the last ones. Various military operations on different fronts will further weaken the armed groups and will drive them closer to total collapse.